Last one, promise. Kind of been thinking about this, run it through my head, and that's where I'm at. Two sterno cans right down in there, heating up this pot. Let me show you. So you'll see a range from about 250 on up to a little over, quite a bit over. So when I did the smaller pots, the best I got was about 300. Now, is this feasible that you could, and I can actually feel the heat coming off this thing at 400 degrees. Is it feasible that this would get you out of a bind? Yeah, but the sterno cans only last about six hours. The problem you run into is at this rate uh, per sterno can, you're about three to five bucks. In an emergency situation, yeah, you could do a couple cans, but the reality is, is you might as well get a little buddy heater and uh, a, a bottle of propane, which will also give you about four to six hours. The difference is a little buddy, he little buddy heater puts off about 1,200 BTUs, uh, which I'm not quite sure what this thing puts off, but I mean, I can feel it radiating heat and then small enclosed room. I'm about 750 square feet in my office, and this here is not going to heat the office. But at the end of the day, yes, this would heat a small room. A 12-inch pot with a smaller pot on top, you do have to keep a chimney. Because uh, if it's off, this thing will eventually die. So, it'll push all the gases to the bottom. It'll starve the fuel and uh, of oxygen and then go from there. So, yeah, well-ventilated area. Be safe. Set it on something that's not flammable. Yada, yada, yada. So, 12-inch pot with a smaller pot on top. Vented. Two sterno cans, 400 degrees and put it on something that is going to uh, reflect the heat. Good luck. Hope you don't ever have to use it. Take care.